Yo, 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 yo. Yo, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today I'm showing you how I create DJ, producer, rapper logos, basically any music inspired logos for my clients using Photoshop and Kittle. The original aesthetic is usually very bold or almost a slightly electric look, black and white text featuring the artist or producer's name. But I'm gonna be going in a slightly more modern direction. If you want the original aesthetic, you can find the video on my channel from a while back. Just scroll down and locate it. Everything I make in this video I'll put in the description whether it's the Photoshop file or the Kittle template you can access and edit all of that very effortlessly or keep watching and learn how to do it yourself. So I'm not quite going for the classic DJ aesthetic like I did in my first DJ logo video. This one is going to be adding colours, more of a Y2K look. The meta with DJ logos usually is more minimalistic than chaotic, although there are sharp edges, electrical, like zappy, uh, sharp angles and stuff. Within the logo, uh, you want it to look a bit striking and have it really pop out. Now, like I said, I'm exploring multiple different avenues of this look. I don't just want to teach you guys how to make the DJ logo that looks like every single other one made this template when you're in Kittle and you can change all of the colors in one click you can change the text the images all of that and it's completely free so definitely go check that out in the description if you want to use one of these presets Kittle has a bunch of different elements a bunch of different fonts drag and drop assets that are all completely free to use so long as you're signed up to Kittle so that's pretty sick and it makes it a really easy way to kind of bring together your vision you can always take that into Photoshop afterwards and go more crazy with the logo but to be honest, I made some really sick logos just in Kittle today that I'm pretty happy with, you know? Like I said, all of these elements that you find on the left, drag and drop, so easy to use, and they're all free assets. If you want something completely unique to you, you could use the Kittle AI tool to generate your own symbol that no one else has. And you can find a whole Kittle AI video on my channel if you're interested in learning more about that. It's actually one of the best AIs out there. Once I was finished with this little template that I made, I published it as a public Kittle template, as you can see on screen at the moment. Here I'm showcasing a logo that my clients really like. It's when I mix a wire or a speaker or like an aux cable or a headphone into a logo just to help demonstrate what the logo is. I started off doing the wire at the top using the liquify tool. In the end I got rid of that but the idea is to use a threshold tool to make your image asset, in my case it's a large auxiliary cord fit with the logo. I like this kind of fixed width font that kind of already looks like a wire, it helped this come together pretty effortlessly. And yeah like I said guys the threshold tool just washes out all of the colours in your image making it perfect and already ready for a logo. Jumping back in Kittle now, I thought it'd be a good opportunity to demonstrate the more classic DJ logo look, which has a few different variations. It's often a very thick, bold text, or in this case, it's a bit of a scratchy, almost graffiti ink text. Using the spacing tool, you can decide how far the letters should be. Now with the DJ look, they're usually pretty compact, very tight together, helping it look not just like a word, but like a logo. So play with the spacings tool. I find that if the letters are actually slightly touching, it usually works better for a music logo look. And here I'm just demonstrating a few different fonts that are built into Kittle that work the best for the music culture. I really like this font, acrylic. The spacing is so important. You can see this arrow over here exactly where I'm clicking to do that. Sometimes super spaced out works, but for 90% of the time with a DJ logo, try and keep it pretty compact. I think that is the meta. This one here is pretty simple. What I'd do if you arrive at a simple outcome like this is on the left, you can go into the elements tab and you can grab anything you like free to use and drag and drop it into your image. I wanted to use a wing and see if I can make this look cool like an angel wing to kind of play off of the spiritual aesthetic that I was going for here. So remember all the assets are down in the description if you'd like an easy way to pull one of these logos together or if you've made your own from scratch, I'd love to see it. Come send it me on Instagram or put it in our Discord, whatever tickles your nipple. I've just
duplicated it and aligned it with the other one and flipped it horizontally. Changed some of the text, got all the spacing right. Remember with Kittle, you can save things as a SVG. When you're in Kittle, everything is automatically scalable, but if you're gonna download it, it's got PNG, JPEG, and SVG so that you'll never lose quality on your images. Now over here in the effects panel, if you turn the offset all the way down and just add an outer stroke, you can see that it puts a little black space around the edge of the text so that it's not clashing with the wings. But like I said at the start, if you're looking for a more in-depth tutorial on the original DJ logo look, then scroll down my channel and check out the first video I made because it's still a banger boys. Drop a like, leave a comment, read every comment and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And there you go. Till the next video guys, that's your boy out. Peace.